Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming at you with another wargaming and miniature video. In today's video, we're going to do another unboxing. This time, it is of my hobby paint paint rack. Uh, I don't have one, and I've got like over maybe a hundred bottles of uh, hobby craft paint and I need some way to organize it so that I can find it when I need it. But in addition to that, uh, they advertise that it will fit like AK or Vallejo, uh, some of their smaller bottles, like their 60 millimeter bottles should fit in this rack. So we're gonna find out. Okay, uh, now this box comes with two racks of about 46 slots, I think is what it said. And 46 times two is almost 100. So uh, I might be able to get all of my paints on it. We'll, we'll have to find out. Okay, well, first of all, it's already painted, it's painted white. And there are screws. What the heck? Okay, I see screw holes. Am I going to have to screw this thing together? Okay, this is probably one, and that is probably two. Okay, it comes with a screwdriver. And a cool box. I almost want to save this box. I don't know if it's a good size. Okay. So I might not need my glue. I was prepared to glue this. Looks like there's probably some instructions right there. Now I'm only going to put one of these together on camera. Because they're both identical. Okay, this is really nicely finished. It feels kind of like a... Not wood. Because it gives it has a little bit of a flex to it. Maybe it's some kind of rubberized material. I don't know what it's made out of. Assembly steps. Okay. Now I've been keeping my hobby paints in a homemade rack, which was really just like, um, just set my through together. But all the paints are just sitting on top of each other. Okay, these are pretty big holes. I was wondering if one of their 100 milliliters would fit in there. Oh, it does, just barely. But let's see if it'll fit uh, once it's all said and done. Okay. So, the pieces, okay, looks good. And then, sequential assembly. Okay. These are... Uh, places where you could actually hang this on the wall. That's my understanding. Uh, uh, uh -huh. 
Yeah, these are opposites. These have holes in them. These do not. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. These are probably all exactly the same in each direction. Oh, maybe not. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, they, these are wider than these. Okay, well, that was pretty simple. So far, so good, right? No gluing. Not exactly sure where the screws come into place. Okay, that looks good. Oh, wow. It doesn't require any glue, but I'm thinking maybe I could glue it. Or I could just not worry about it and just use the screws. They give me way more than enough screws. That's good. The reason why I didn't really think I wanted to screw it in is I didn't want it to split the wood. Okay. Hmm. 
not putting it in super tight. I'm just uh, screwing it in until it's flush. I'm not like cranking it down. Basically, I just don't want it to come apart. I don't, I'm not trying to make it super tight or whatever, you know what I mean? These screws are doing really good. They're digging in super fast. Like there might already be a pilot hole. I didn't see one. Oh, no, they gave me exactly the number of screws. They gave me eight. Screwdriver is a little bit small in the hand, but for a free screwdriver, you can't complain. Well, I guess it wouldn't be free. It's included in the cost of the rack. Really? Okay. These rubber gloves, I have them on because I thought I was going to be gluing or painting. And it winds up. I don't have to glue it or paint it. There it is. Wasn't hard to put together at all. And if I wanted to hang it on the wall, I could. My question is, these bottles are a lot longer. Even if they do fit in there. Okay. It's definitely not bad at all. Okay, that goes in all the way where it's got a little bit of a downward pressure where it's not going to slide out. Apple barrel, folk art. Now these guys, yeah, they're just going to be flat. But he actually fits. I'm happy about that. Got this green primer. Let's see if he'll fit in there. From AK. Yeah, he fits in there too. Perfect. That'll clean off a lot on my desk.
Uh, let's check some other things that might or might not fit. How about this Vallejo wash? Nah, not really. Doesn't reach all the way back. But I could stand it on the top. Okay, so what do you guys think about this rack? Do you like it? I do. It's got a little bit of room on the top, so if I wanted to put some other bottles or tools, I could do that. Or if I've got like a bottle that's just way too big, hey, it sits on the top. Surface primer, there we go. Plus, I've got like a hundred of these. All right, well, thanks for coming out and checking out this unboxing and assembly of this paint rack. Um, if you were curious, I did get it on Amazon. I guess the high caper. Uh, No, that's an R. High carer. High carer. Yeah, high carer. It comes with two, two in one. I thought about just ordering one, uh, a little bit larger than this. This is a forty-six, but they had one that was uh, a seventy-two hole, and I said, "Oh, that looks great." But then I caught wind of this one which is about the same price but it's two racks of 46 right seven times seven pretty awesome all right thanks for coming out and checking out this video and i'll catch you in the next one